When we first begin oil painting, one of the most common and confusing questions that comes up is, what do I do with all of these chemicals? How do I dispose properly of everything? Well, I've got you covered on those answers, so let's dive into it today. Okay, so if you aren't aware, these are the materials that you might need to dispose of as an oil painter. Number one is paint rags or paper towels with paint on them. Number two is paint itself, whether it's on pallet paper or you scrape it off of a glass pallet. And number three is jars of solvents or oils that you use when you're painting that become too thick and sludgy and therefore they need to be you know, tossed out, they're not reusable anymore. Okay, so let's start with the paint rags or paper towels that will have dried paint on them. So these are the rags that you're using while you're painting, you're wiping your brush on the rag, or at the end of painting, you're dipping your brush in the oil or the solvent, and then you're cleaning the brush on the rag. So this is probably the most important rule you want to remember as an oil painter. And this is that you cannot throw away wet paint rags. Do not do this. It can actually start a fire in your trash can. I actually had a friend in an art class and this happened to her. She was new to oil painting and she threw away like a few paint rags that all had wet paint on them, oil paint, and it started a fire in her garage. So it can be really scary. So what happens is oil paint when it cures, I guess it oxidizes or something, and it creates heat and warmth and it can start a fire. So it's not the solvents, it's actually the oil paint that heats up on your rag. So, and the problem is that when you put like trash on top of that rag, it just creates like, you know, nowhere for that heat to go and it just starts a fire. So what you want to do is when you're done painting for the day, you want to take your paint rags or paper towels and you want to lay them out somewhere to dry. And you want them to have enough space so that they're not like on top of each other. They really need to just dry flat away from each other. So what I do is I keep Amazon boxes or other shipping boxes and I'll put them on my porch. And then when I have a paint rag that's wet, I will lay it over the side of the box and just let it dry for a couple days. And then when, you know, when I'm going to paint a couple days later, I will see if there's a rag that's not filled up yet. Like maybe I only used a little corner of the rag and it's dried out. So I'll grab that and I'll use it again. And I keep doing this until a rag is fully, you know, painted up and has no more room for more paint. And once a rag is fully painted up, I will let it dry for maybe like a week or longer until it's fully dried out, no wet paint. And then I will throw it in the trash can as normal. But also, I only do like one paint rag per trash load. I don't do multiple rags on top of each other, even if they're dry, just to be safe. So just one rag in the trash can and that's it. And for paper towels, same thing. Uh, I have another like box outside and I'll just put paper towels in there. I usually use rags, but in case I'm out, I can use paper towels and then just kind of wad them up in the, <laughs> in like a box and let them dry outside, you know, you'll figure out your own system. It's not pretty at all, like you don't wanna see my porch, there's just like wet paint rags, dry paint rags, it's it's not cute, but it's, uh, you know, it's what we have to do as painters. So just remember, no wet oil paint in the trash can and just let it all dry out and then you can dispose in the trash can as usual. Okay, now let's talk about paint. So with paint, we're talking about either paint on your palette, like palette paper, or if you use a glass palette, it would be like the scrapings of paint, the paint bits that you scrape off once it's dry. So with paint, it's the same with rags. You want to make sure it's dry when you throw it away. You can dispose of it in the trash can once it's dry. So if you use palette paper, um, you simply want to do the same thing as the rags and you know, take your palette paper, put it outside. I recommend putting like a box over it because, you know, I care about my bug friends and I've in the past had bugs like crawl into the paint and get stuck and that's sad, okay? Let's protect our bug friends, put a box over it, let it dry or keep it in your house, put a box over it, you know, let it dry fully and then you can dispose of it as normal. Hopefully you won't have a lot of leftover paint anyway. Um, you shouldn't be squeezing out so much paint that you're wasting it. But there's always like a little bit of paint left over on a palette, you know, or sometimes I mix like an ugly color 
and I wanna throw it away, just let it dry first, throw it out. If you scrape your glass palette once it's dry and those paint bits, those can just be thrown away because they're already dry. So yeah, it's very simple. Just make sure it's dry so it doesn't start a fire and put it in your trash can. And lastly, we have solvents and oil mediums that we need to dispose of. So if you're an oil painter, you probably use a solvent or an oil to dilute your paint and also to clean your brush at the end of painting. So let's start with solvents. Gamsol is the most common, popular solvent. Most oil painters use it, I would say. Some people still use turpentine, which is like an older version of that. When you have a jar of Gamsol or another solvent that you're using while you're painting, you keep reusing that jar for a while and you'll notice that the paint sediments start to collect at the bottom and it becomes kind of like a sludge. And eventually that jar is no longer reusable because the sludge is higher and higher and the clear you know, solvent at the top is smaller and smaller. So at that point, you are ready to dispose of the sludge. So here's what I do. I get a new jar and I will pour just the top like clear solvent part into that new jar, trying to make sure the sludge stays inside the other jar. So that way I have a new jar with a little bit of fresh liquid and then the sludge. And then I will take that sediment jar and I will label it just so I know exactly what it is and I will look up a local recycling center. So this may look like a hazardous waste center or a municipal waste or recycling center or I've even heard of a fire department taking chemicals. Um, so you just wanna look up in your town and see where they take solvents or painting materials. And then I will go and drop it off. It's super easy, usually just put it in a big bin or something. Um, and yeah, I will you know, repeat that. So. I'll have the new jar, I'll top it off with fresh Gamsol and wait until that gets sludgy and then pour it in a new jar, take the sludge to the center and do it all over again. So that's the best process that I have found. Now, for people who paint solvent free, which is actually what I do, I used to use Gamsol, now I don't. Um, for solvent free painting, you can use like safflower oil or linseed oil or clove oil. There's a few different types of oils and you can use that during painting to dilute your paint or to clean your brush at the end. So it's a similar process. You know, I'll basically have a jar of safflower oil, I'll keep using it and the paint will start to sell, settle at the bottom and then eventually it gets too cloudy and gross and I don't wanna use it anymore. So I'll get a new jar, you know, pour any clear liquid in the new jar and then I'll take that sludgy jar to the recycling center, same thing. Another really cool tip that I actually read on Reddit today, someone said, put the sludge on like a piece of plywood and just like spread it out, kind of, <laughs> it sounds really gross, but, and let it dry normally. And it'll probably just become like filmy and then you can throw that away. So it's just like dried oil paint. Um, so you could spread it on like cardboard or even like palette paper probably. Um, and let it dry. So that's a really cool idea. So I might actually try that because I, I get kind of lazy. I'm like, I don't want to drive to the recycling center even though it's not very far away. Um, so I might try that tip next time. So yeah, I mean, I think that really covers our bases with oil painting. You got the rags, the paint, and the liquids, the solvents, or the oils. So that's really it. It's, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. When I first started oil painting, I was so overwhelmed and like, did not know what was correct or not, but I talked to other people and you know did and I tried my own methods and research and all of that and this is truly, you know, what I told you is exactly what I do. It's super easy and it works. So yeah, I just really hope this was helpful, um, especially for beginners. I know it's confusing. So yeah, I would love to hear if you have any other tips. If I said anything you you know that was helpful or that you do differently, I want to hear about that as well. Okay. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great week and happy painting.